Hi there, it's now about three months uh, since my studio was flooded caused by heavy rain for weeks in Bavaria, Germany. Luckily I was able to rescue all my equipment in time, so only the floor and the building was damaged. And you may have seen my last video where I was pretty down, at that time I had absolutely no motivation to make a new video, but now I'm almost back, cause giving up is not an option and the sun is shining again. So let's hope that such a tragedy will never ever happen again. In case you want to support my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe so we can finally reach the 2k of active subscriptions. Next I have some impressions of the restoration of my studio. Here you can see all the dryers that had to run for around 6 weeks. The company who did the work drilled some holes into the floor and blowed in air for 3 weeks. Then they came back and measured the humidity of the floor and the walls. In the next step the airflow was reversed for another 3 weeks. In this time the whole basement got pretty hot, around 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degree Fahrenheit. In this time the walls and floor also heated up and uh, it wasn't that easy to lower the temperature again later. At the end they measured the humidity, removed everything and took all drying machines away. The holes in the floor have been closed with cork plugs. As soon as the drying period was over we started with the next steps. Unfortunately the water also has left some marks at the walls, so I had to repaint the lower parts. Of course I had to do this for the complete basement and not only for this room. To save some money I tried to do as much work as possible by myself. This is how the studio looks when the paintwork was finished and prepared for laying the floor. And this is the studio with the new floor. It's a vinyl floor that is insensitive to moisture. My studio table has also been reassembled and is already in the right place. Here you can see most of the power supplies that will be installed under the desk. The power supplies of the studio lights are not included, so you have to add another 4. Now let's take a look at all the cables I have to install. Yeah, that's really a lot. Power cables, speaker cables, XLR cables, USB cables, data cables and of course audio cables. Under the desk I've used a separate cable duct to keep power and data cables away from analog audio cables. This helps to keep all audio signals clean. Here you can see my actual wall of sound. All stacks are on wheels, so I'm always able to access the back of the amps. For the amps with a power switch on the back I'm using a power switch rack unit, so I'm able to power on all amps from the front. The amp switcher system requires many cables and these have a good weight, so it's recommended to relieve the load on the jacks. That's why I used some parts of a fold out TV wall mount to take all the cables. This is how my studio looks right now. All lightning works, all cables have been installed. The wall of sound with amp switcher, attenuator and load box. Here you can also see my pedals. 
Next to the desk are the studio lights. All studio monitors are already working, but because of some changes in the room, I have to do the room correction again. In case you don't know, that's the software which corrects monitor frequencies to reduce the impact of the room. While recovering my studio, I've also tried to make some improvements to my wall of sound, the cable management and the workflow for recordings. So I'm happy to say that my studio has now reached a new level again. And as you may have noticed, there's currently only one guitar in the room for testing. I think it's a good idea to make another video where I hang on all other guitars on the wall and tell you something about my neat guitar collection. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.